Airlines Singapore Airlines business class from Istanbul to Singapore. We will be traveling over Iran, India, Pakistan, Malaysia, and finally landing in Singapore. This is a 10 hour flight and total of 5,400 miles. So it's a long flight, especially with three kids. This is our first time flying Singapore Airlines. I have watched and read a lot of positive reviews about them. So we're definitely excited to experience this amazing airline. So let's talk about the cost. Singapore Airlines had a promo, which was 49,000 miles per person. And let me tell you, that is an amazing deal for a 10 hour flight. Just to give you an idea, Turkish Airlines, same route, same day, it was 105,000 miles per person. So to get something for 49,000 versus 105 is a freaking steal. Got plenty of leg space, I'm 6'1", and as you can see, this is plenty of space for someone that's tall. One thing that was shocked to me, the screen is not touch. You literally have to do everything from the remote control. Storage below the remote control drove me crazy. That is probably the worst area to put a storage. Every time I put my arm on it, or I moved, I did anything, it would click open. Drove me nuts. We got one USB charger and one international outlet. Now this was a very personal touch from the flight crew. My first time where they showed so much interest around my vacation. So kudos to them. You can get more privacy by sliding this out. Miriam wants more privacy from me. Now that's fine. Care kit comes with mask, sanitizer, and wipe, which is pretty standard on all airlines now. Headphones, definitely a great headphone. Noise cancellation, amazing quality. Two kids down, they are sleeping already, working on Miriam. Come on Miriam, go to sleep. Now let's talk about entertainment. In my opinion, the list of movies were below average when you compare it to Turkish Airlines. And the reason I say that, half of the movies were international and the other half were kid only. So leaving you with very small amount of adult movies to watch. Since we have food now, I just realized there were no pre-flight drinks compared to Turkish, Lufthansa, the other airlines, which is very interesting. Another thing that's different about Singapore Airlines, there is no amenity kit where something like Lufthansa or Turkish, you get socks, toothbrush, all kinds of little neat things. No amenity kit on Singapore Airlines. Shocker to me because cash value of our ticket is well over $10,000. So I don't know why they don't do it. I don't get it. So far, I've noticed they are very slow on refills and they are very slow on picking up the old plates. They are very strict on masks. A couple of people got arrested when we landed. So make sure you follow the rules. Very, very cold ice cream. I think I got brain freeze. Overall experience, let's talk about pros and cons. So with, starting with pros, when it comes to the fully flat bed, this is the widest and the biggest you'll see on any airline. I love the experience. You can definitely go to sleep. It feels like a bed. It has two seat belts, not just one like you do on most airlines. So huge, huge kudos to Singapore Airlines. Cons. Wi-Fi. Surprisingly, Wi-Fi was non-existing on this flight. You get 100 megabytes, which literally runs out in like minutes. So Wi-Fi 
throw it out the window, pretty much doesn't exist. Next con was the entertainment option. As I mentioned, the list of movies to watch as an adult in English, no subtitles, were very limited compared to other ones. The final con, in my opinion, is the speed of the crew. When it comes to getting refill drinks, picking up the plate, they were not the fastest. So let's talk about immigration. This should be very easy process for US citizens to enter Singapore without a visa. You got a digital visa at arrival. But for us, we literally got stuck for two hours at immigration. Our kids asked, no problem, but me and the wife, they held us up for two hours because they saw a visa where we had been to Iraq years and years ago, like five plus years ago, and they did not like that. We literally got questioned for two hours as to why we went, who we saw, what we did there, where we're staying while we're here, who do we know here? And it was a full blown list of questions. Definitely the most aggressive, the longest immigration visa process I've been through. Finally, after two hours of back and forth, they let us in and we were on our way to our hotel.